Hi and welcome back to our book club. Today I've got three more recommendations of books for you. Since last time I think you really liked my recommendations, maybe some of you. Now I've got three more, two are business books and one is something slightly different. Now the first one is Scaling Up and this is written by Vern Harnish who is also the author of Mastering the Rockefeller Habits. So this is sort of the updated version of Mastering the Rockefeller Habits. This is a really good book for any business owner who wants to scale as the title says and it's probably not the easiest read. It's sort of a little bit boring but it's a really good book. It's, it's one of these books that I also got the audiobook, so I, I, I listen to it and also read it. And it's got a lot of structure and a lot of templates, a lot of frameworks that you can apply to your business in all areas of your business to grow. It's, it's one of the best business books out there. The next one is Anything by Richard Branson. But this one here is Business, business Strip Bear. There's another one, I think it's something called is it called like a virgin or something? Oh no, that's no, that's that's Kurt Cobain. <laughs> but it's something about virgin. I don't remember. But but all really, I think all the books that are about Richard or written by Richard or or co-authored by Richard are just inspiring and awesome and motivational because this dude is pretty epic. So any one of them I think are, are really good. And then the last one is The Blue Sweater. And this is written by Jacqueline Novo Novogratz. And I really like this book because it's really sharing her story of how she set up some microfinancing in the developing world, in Africa mainly. And it just gives you an insight into how not-for-profits go into these, these, these regions to try and help <clears throat> businesses and also really to try and develop the countries. And this one specifically, I like the blue sweater because it mainly just talks about how they're supporting businesses in a sustainable way because there are many different ways how we can support the developing world and a lot of our efforts sometimes maybe backfire a little bit, but this is just giving you an insight into how to do microfinancing the right way for, for businesses that need our help, but so that they can be sustainable themselves. A really good book. So these are the three books that I have for you today. I'll come back in a few weeks again and I'll give you more books because I've been reading a lot lately since I've been traveling. A lot I get to read at the airports, always like a nerd. So I have a, a ton more books for you that I'd like to share with you.